Hello and welcome to another five minute webinar. I am your host, Adam Jolly. Please be sure to tweet your questions and comments to hashtag five minutes. Our presenter today is Gerald Kraft. Gerald, what is your big idea? Uh, my big idea is just making sure that your Gore-Tex garments continue to uh, give you good performance. Um, in order for that Gore-Tex garment to give you good performance, you need to clean it. Um, the reason being is just because, for one, those Gore-Tex membranes, those little pores, you need to make sure that those pores are free of dirt and residue so that they can breathe. And then in addition, if you have a buildup of dirt and residue on the outside of the fabric, that's going to affect your DWR. So it's really important that we clean that Gore-Tex to maintain breathability, to maintain the DWR, and then it's also important that we use a specialized cleaner. Um, the most important thing is really that cleaner because a lot of times if you use a traditional household detergent, you may be adding additional residues to that fabric, things like fabric softeners or optical brighteners, and all those things will affect the DWR, and they also have the ability to clog those waterproof breathable pores. So cleaning is really important, but the type of cleaner that you use is just as important. So the very first thing that we recommend is close all zippers, Velcro, and tabs. The reason we're going to do this is just to avoid abrasion. Ideally, you're going to wash your Gore-Tex items separately. You'll close all those tabs, Velcro, anything that could create abrasion. And what that will do is it just ensures that you're not rubbing away that DWR that's currently there. What you'll find is a lot of times you don't need to reapply a DWR coating. A lot of times that fabric just needs a good cleaning. The reason it's not repelling water is because of the buildup of dirt and residue. So in order to maintain that DWR coating, what we need to do is just make sure that we can limit the amount of abrasion that's going on as much as possible. So the next thing that we're going to do is if there's any stains on the garment, we want to put the cleaner directly on those stains. Um, what you'll find is if you go to WL Gore's website, they don't recommend that you use things like stain removers or bleach on Gore-Tex fabrics because what it's going to do is going to harm the fabric. Um, and so what you want to do is you just want to use your specialized cleaner directly on those embedded stains. Again, you don't want to use Tide, you don't want to use All, you want to use a clean rinsing detergent. In our case, we recommend Revivex Pro Cleaner. That clean rinsing detergent needs to be applied directly to heavy stains because these cleaners have just enough, enough suds in there to grab onto dirt and oils, but for heavy duty stains, you really want to focus on those stains directly. So once you've um, added the cleaner directly to the stains, go ahead and scrub it with a nice bristle brush and then repeat as needed. So now we're finally ready to wash this thing. So you're always going to want to follow the manufacturer's recommendation. So look on the garment care label and see what the manufacturer recommends. If there are no recommendations, what we recommend is that you select a delicate cycle um, and warm water. So you'll select that delicate cycle, select your load size, most likely going to be low because you're only washing one garment at a time, and then, um, and then you'll add your cleaner. Again, in our case, we're going to recommend Revivex Pro Cleaner just because it's a clean rinsing detergent. So with Revivex Pro Cleaner, you're going to add about a half ounce um, to your wash machine. For high efficiency machines, you want to use a quarter ounce. Um, high efficiency machines use less water, so you want to use less cleaner. Um, again, it's very important that you use a clean rinsing detergent, a specialized detergent. You don't want to use your household detergents just because they do contain, um, you know, additional residues, obstacle brighteners, and fabric softeners. And we really want to avoid those types of things. So now we're just going to go ahead and, and run, the run the wash cycle. Um, really important when you're running that wash cycle to give that garment a couple extra rinses, or an extra rinse, I should say. Reason being is we just want to make sure that we rinse away all that soapy residue um, before we put that thing into the dryer. So now that we've cleaned that thing, what we'll do is we'll remove it from the wash machine and we'll dry it according to the manufacturer's recommendation. Again, like I said, a lot of times you don't need to apply a, an aftermarket water repellent. The reason being is because a lot of times that water repellent is still present. It just wasn't able to function because you had that buildup of dirt and, and residue. So what you'll find is after you've cleaned your Gore-Tex, a lot of times you can stick it into the dryer and the heat will reactivate the DWR, causing it to bead water again. If for some reason you've cleaned it, you put it into the, uh, into the dryer, and it's no longer repelling water, then that's an indication that you need to retreat it with an aftermarket water repellent like Revivex Durable Waterproofing Spray. So again, we're doing this just to make sure that your Gore-Tex fabrics, you know, maintain their performance. Because again, when you have that buildup of dirt and residue, it's going to impact breathability, causing you to sweat from the inside and causing you to get wet, or it's going to impact your DWR causing water to, to wet through the jacket, which is also going to cause you to get wet. So it just really helps uh, to clean your Gore-Tex garments to, to maintain that performance. 
All right, excellent. So that's all we have for today. Again, please be sure to tweet your questions and comments to hashtag five minutes. Gerald, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Adam.